but now they are all in up at the ramp and we're gonna see an offensive bunker go down oh he switched to a turret and this tank might go down if it doesn't siege up quick enough and now it's gonna give him such a uh, territorial advantage and we're gonna see a couple marines picked off a little back and forth and a one zealot does go down two zealous and these stalkers taking so much damage especially from this tank now hacking away at this critical pylon oh uh, take that back not very critical Oh, one Hellion picked off and a couple of Marines using this blink very well to keep as many stalkers as possible. Should be warping in more units. He's uh, missing his macro a little bit. Oh, and Stimpak and two more stalkers do go down. Oh, and these buildings just going down so st uh, so quickly. Oh, Sidestorm is researched right away, but are we going to be able to see a High Templar get out? We are, but oh, they're, these units are also low. Oh, lifting the tanks. But, oh, these Phoenixes could have been picked off. So many probes going down the assimilator. Oh, and now the Nexus is going to go down. This does not look good for Hasu whatsoever. Maybe if he could get some side storms off, but I don't even think that's going to help at this point. And, oh, these units are so low. But, oh, he's just taking so much damage. And this, uh, oh my gosh, this push has just worked so well for TLO. These tanks in such good position. Look how far their range is nothing is gonna I would unseize this and bring it a little closer oh we did see a side storm go down but only picked off one marine and another does go down oh picked off two more marines and a marauder but look how low these units are oh a full frontal force and he's gonna bring everything in but these siege tanks are gonna have something to say about these probes getting into the mix using these phoenixes uh, lift very well still uh, but these graviton beans aren't oh we could see all these units go down with the help of the probes, if these siege chains just came a little closer, they would be able to take out all these probes in a couple shots, and that's what TLO is doing right now. And uh, TLO can't can't be macroing that well. He has been he has been at so low on units this whole time, and I don't know even how. Oh, and all these probes are going to go down, but these Phoenix is still doing their job very well, and they could lift these tanks right now. But these Marines probably are going to focus fire right now. They do have enough for another graviton beam. Oh, and they are going to lift the tanks, but only one Phoenix is able to hack away at it at a time. And the Phoenix might go down, but the Graviton Beat does not last long enough. And just more Marauders and Marines coming into Hoss's base. And he is going to call good game. Oh my gosh. That was a that was an intense first game right there. Um wow. So TLO a little bit. Uh, scared right there when that uh, oh no actually Hasu wow I already forgot what happened Hasu a uh, little bit scared go, uh, opting for that uh, fast stalker instead of getting a zealot first which is pretty common in Protoss versus Terran but there always is that trouble of a fast offensive which uh, TLO exploded very well but however he was not able to get that bunker up quickly enough and therefore the stalker was able to just dismember that offensive right away but TLO uh, macroing very well getting a really good unit composition and just pulling through and if I think if Hasu had expanded a little bit earlier he might have had that economic gain that would have allowed him to warp gate push uh, or get more warp gates for to be on the defensive more easily um, and also, I would have opted for a Void Ray, actually, just because it would have been so strong back here. TLO did not get the turrets until after he had the Phoenixes in his base harassing. So, I mean, Phoenixes in mass can be good against any race, really, but it just wasn't enough. Two is not enough. And you can see after those two were made, he didn't make use of the Stargate at all. So, yeah, really exciting game. Uh, too bad the... Warcraft 3 tag lost. Oh well. TLO is a champ. But, uh, yeah, super psyched to get uh, a StarCraft 2 shoutcast in here. And uh, still improving, obviously. But, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say right now. We'll, we'll try to get more StarCraft 2 shoutcasts in. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe if you like what you see and make sure you comment and leave some feedback below. Hobo Forecraft signing out guys.